Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. Last time we realized that we have the possibility that if we cannot connect to a Wi-Fi network simply because the login data or is not known or there is no Wi-Fi available, yeah, then we are switching automatically into station mode, uh, into, into access point mode. So then our ESP32 is an access point. And we provide settings to enter brightness settings and so on. This was working last time. Today we want today we want that uh, we provide the possibilities to set Wi-Fi things. Okay? This is our this is our task today. Good. Uh, what are the first things we need to do? Well, of course, we need a new page. Of course, we need a new page. And so here, where is this here? After the form of the old page, I have then to enter P. Yeah, that's a hyperlink. I will not edit wifi.html. I will not provide a two too sophisticated yeah, because it's not it should not be an HTML of course uh, edit Wi-Fi settings so now we have this hyperlink a anchor it's called in a new in a new P all right we have this and then of course we also need the content I will simply copy this here. We also need the content of the new web page. This I will not call HTML index. I will call I will call it input SSID. Uh, okay. We need something that we can switch from station mode to access point mode and, and back. So I will define here a placeholder station or access point and I will refill every fill this placeholder afterwards like we've done it over here with the brightness set point yeah it's pretty much the same principle that we have a placeholder here and then we'll do a table uh, then we write stored Wi-Fi data and then we make a new table row uh, and we make a new what I write now it has sense uh, an empty one then we make a header uh, where we write center middle middle position uh, SSID then a new one Center uh, password, then a new one, slash center, of course, then slash dt, and um, an empty one again. Row is finished. New row. Uh, then we have a form. Okay, here's the form. ID, this time. I call it uh, net parameter one. Action is update Wi-Fi touch PHP. I will simply specify a new a new site. Must be written like this. And the method is post. All right. Then in the first, in the first where here, here the first element was empty and now I don't want it empty. I want that this entry one. There's something written. And in the next entry, we'll put the input type. Type is text. Good. Yeah. Name is in SS id0 and value 
now I have the same the same issue that I need a placeholder. So it's called SSID zero. I will fill this afterwards as well. And now I have an input field, an input field with the SSID zero. Then I will make a new input field, but this time not of type text, but of type password. It's in in pass zero, and here we write pass zero. All right, and in the next field. I will make an input type submit mm -hmm. name set Wi Fi and the value should be set one. So this is our second table row. Get rid of this. This is no longer need. This is our second table row. Mm -hmm. And of course, I need to do this several times. A slash form, maybe. And I need to do this several times. Not only for first SSID, but also for the others. So there's a two, entry two, SSID one, 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 so two, okay, and then we have three, three, two, 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 set three. Okay, now we only have to close the table, and that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. And of course, we have then also the reference to the to the other one. Yeah. So brightness, it's I will copy this here simply. Where is this? Here. I will call this bright HTML brightness setting. Good. So now we entered. Now we had an a, configured a new web page. I hope. I hope this is working. Hmm. We'll see. We will see. All right. What do we have to do in our in our standard in our in our new program? Uh, what 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 needs there to be done? Where is this here? So we have a new web page. I said we have a new web page and web server dot on. And this new web page was a uh, bribe.html, HTTP get. And it should be exactly the same should happen because we, if we, this is, should be bribe.html, this web page here. This is it. Then, uh, we have web server on. Uh, what was this? Uh, update Wi-Fi. Uh, what was update Wi-Fi? PHP. <laughs> uh, and there is a HTTP uh, post request. Uh, and there I need a new function. This function I will call page Wi-Fi. Good, and a page Wi-Fi. Huh? I accidentally accidentally deleted a lot of stuff. Page Wi-Fi stick. How it does? No, what, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Finally. Okay, new web page. Yeah. And uh hmm, what hmm. 
you know what? I want to have a debug output that exactly know what is going on. I want to have a debug output. Uh, I will program this here. Uh, void um, debug request. And this has all this asynchronous request, this stuff here. I want to have a printout what is inside this request. Yeah. So I'll serial print. Mm -hmm. URL zero dot print line and this URL we can find in request URL. Right? So that's the that's the URL of the request. Zero dot print method. It should then be HTML, uh, HTTP, get, put, whatever. Yeah? And here is a method uh, which is method to string. This is also already implemented. That's nice because otherwise it would be enumerated. I would just have a number 0, 1, 2, and so on. But method to string delivers already a readable thing. Yeah? And then we have the parameters. And here I have on the GitHub side of, of uh, I have found this, so I will simply copy this in here. It's exactly, it's a copy of the GitHub site. Yeah? So if we have, we have a number of parameters, yeah? this is stored in request params, and we are getting all of these parameters, and if it's post, if it's, if it's file, and so on, we will print this out, the name of the parameter, the value of the parameter. So we have a great overview about our, our uh, request. And I will simply say here, if verb h HTML and debug. So if debug output is turned on, I will simply call this debug request. This will I will do here as well. All right, I will do it as well. So I just want to display. Just want to display. So I will copy this. First of all, I just want to display the things and see if this is working. I don't care about, but not HTML index this time. I will send HTML input SSID. And this time I don't have to replace the sprite set point. This time I have to replace. Phew, what was this? Yeah, SSID zero. This stuff. This, this stuff. So I need the dummy string. Then I will say, uh, SSID zero dot get string. To dummy. There might be a, a, a minus inside. Minus means no, no. So if dummy is not equal to minus, yeah, then we will call HTML replace star SSID zero with dummy. Else we replace it with nothing. No. Like that. Okay. Now we should have exchanged this SSID. Now we should have exchanged SSID 1. Now we should have exchanged SSID 2. And the same is true for the password. Pass 0. And this was pass. Uh, and one and two, and here also one and two. We at least should see now what is what is there. 
make an upload make an upload let's see if we can already see the new the new web page upload a process failed what is that uh -huh. and now then come i need to replug it Upload the process finished. All right. Here we have this. I shall connect to the network. Do you like? Here it is. Connect. Connected clients. I should be already able to access the web page. No, I'm not. Why not? No internet. 192.168.4.1 Why is that, huh? I'm connected. Studio light. No internet? All right. Connect the studio light. We're connected. Try. All right. Now, now we are on. Let's see if the brightness setting still is working. Yes. Good. Brightness setting. Here with the added Wi Fi settings, added page not found. Hmm. I will do this here as well. Haha. <laughs> Too many enters. Upload. What was the output? Edit wifi.html. Is this everything correctly written? Update Wi-Fi. Ah, I have not. Ah, ha, ha. All right. There is no. Of course, I need here also. Edit Wi-Fi. It's true. If I don't tell that this page is, is there, then it's not there. Web server started. Connect Studio Light. Ah, ah, this here. I also have to deal with this here. All right, test SSID. This is working. Test SSID two and test pass to set to and. Get Wi Fi data. Hmm. This is working, coming back. But here, there's nothing. What open? Why is there nothing? Ah, there was something. Ah, client connected. Okay, we have here post set one. This is set Wi Fi is set one. What if I press set two? Then actually, 
set two, uh, press set three, set three. All right. So this looking good. This looking good. I only have to to check for those parameters. They are really coming. It's called update Wi-Fi PHP. I'm calling the correct the correct uh, this web page main. No, I'm not calling this. I'm calling web page Wi-Fi. This I'm calling. And here I have somehow to check what is what is uh, the difference. What's the difference? So I have to say if request has param and this param was set Wi-Fi uh, and this time it was a get or a get request, so I have to write true uh, because it's a get. If I have a get and this is set Wi-Fi inside, I do something. Yeah? Then I will make an integer i which is zero and I will say if request get param I set Wi-Fi true value if the value of this parameter is set to i is one and if it's three I is two. Then I have zero, one, or two, depending on what what is written inside the set Wi-Fi. Because we have seen, if I press the button, here the button was set one, set two, set three, right. And then I have to use the correct the correct parameter. And all those parameters start with in SSID. And in pass, those are the parameters which will be sent here uh, in SSID one in pass. Oh, there's already an error. One, of course, and two. Yeah. So I need to add the number here. So SSID plus i and passac plus i, so we have then in SSID, whatever, 0, 1, 2, uh, and then I will have if request has param SSID argument as, as put. Uh, this means I have found the SSID hmm. yes. I will get this get param value. I will simply store it. I no longer need the, the SSID, I store it here. Right. This looks good. Uh, then I will do information output. New SSID for entry i zero whatever I will put this SSID out on the serial monitor and then I will say if SSID arc equals nothing SSID argument equals dash, it will have a dash, and then I will set SSID for my yeah, set string SSID argument, and I need to hand over the address of the string, for whatever reason I've done this, but it's, I've done it, all right, and if there's no SSID, then I will simply do the same. This is good. I will simply set it to dash. Man, God. Uh, sometimes these automatic things are not, not that good. All right. So we should now be able to set the SSID 
from the request and now we should uh, do the same for param not pass copy this new password for entry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I think this is okay ah this stuff here this stuff here we have to replace this somehow if bit read if we are if we're in access point mode replace this stuff here with what we will replace this uh switch to mode station station mode okay else if we are in station mode we might offer to switch to mode access point mm. <laughs> Upload. Mm -hmm. Connect. Connected. Working. Uh huh. Page not found. Uh, that's clear because I have not coded it. But it offers to switch to station mode. It's looking also great now. And here I enter something. Test SSID2. Uh, test pass to. Alright, what, what happened here? New SSID for entry 1. Test SSID2. Test pass. Web page will be set. And now. Same. Okay, and now actually, if I switch to brightness and edit Wi-Fi, it's stored. It's stored. Okay, so we can edit. We can edit uh, on our web page. We can edit uh, SSRTs and so on. Oh, that comes something to my mind. What we could do better? Yeah. The only thing we have to deal with now is this uh, what is happening if we are in mode station mode access point those those HTML files here yeah, those here hmm web server on How do I call this? Huh? How do I call this? Change web page or something like this? Switch mode. Switch mode. I will call it anyway. Mode station. Mode HP. I will call the function switch mode. Which mode shall look like exactly this? Switch mode. And what, sh what shall happen in switch mode? Ah, if bit read status, right? Use access point. If we're in access point mode, or else if we are not in access point mode. Okay. If we're in access point mode, uh we will output something if we have info mode but verb 
HTML. Let's write simply switching to station mode. Good. What is the first thing which should happen? Web server. Web server shall be stopped, ended. Then we clear the bit that the web server is started to clear also our status. Then Wi Fi. Uh, we make a soft access point disconnect. Yeah, this one. Wi Fi dot disconnect. We clear the bits, but not this. We start uh, Wi Fi connected. We clear the bit Wi Fi connected, and we also uh, clear the bit, of course, use access point. Uh, then we make an EEPROM put. We put this new status. To the EEPROM and we commit this. Mm -hmm. And then we set the Wi Fi check time to, I don't know, 500 milliseconds. And then the, we have, we just disconnect, we set, say we, uh, set timeout to 500 milliseconds. We just disconnect and say, Okay, next time switch to switch to station. Okay, and if we are in station mode and want to switch to access access point mode, we make other web server end. This we don't need. We make a disconnect. We make this time we make a bit set here, and actually that's it. Actually that's it. Try it. Try it once again. Web server running. Connect to the studio light. Client connected, so we should be able. This is where we added Wi Fi settings, switch to station mode, page not found. Will yeah, get page not found. Ah! Yes, it switched to station mode. Cannot connect though, because the input parameters are wrong. But it's working. It's working. Do you see what we just did here? Do you know? We come without device to somewhere. We don't know the input. The, 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 the credentials. Yeah? We don't know how to, to, to get into the Wi-Fi. So, this device is then producing its own, its own access point. We can access a web page on this access point, put in the data and connect to a Wi-Fi network wherever. We don't need a computer. We just need a, a a web browser, which can access a Wi-Fi. We just need a, a mobile phone. That's it. That's it. Great. What would be nice is that we have a list of available networks. Maybe 
I will look have I will have a look into this if we can co incorporate that. But right now, I'm pretty satisfied. I must say with how this turned out. Yeah. I guess if I enter the correct correct SSID and so on, then we are connecting, and then we can also switch back to to access point mode. No issue there. Yeah. Great. So next time, next time we will talk about uh, with these lists of Wi-Fi. If I can manage, if not, then we will already place it here in my studio light and make this go live. This thing, I guess. Hmm? Maybe I have another idea. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.